Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dugout Vivo channel. It is time for match week number three of the 22-23 EFL Championship season. Only 11 games last week. Obviously, Coventry against Rotherham postponed due to ongoing problems with the Rico Arena pitch. But we will get on to Coventry's problems Anyway, let's have a look at how we did last week. I managed to get six points. Uh, b believe it or not, I absolutely had a shocking week up until, obviously, Sheffield United beat Millwall 2-0. I got that spot on. And then I got West Brom Watford absolutely spot on as well. So a really, really interesting uh, week, it has to be said. But top scorers, yes, we had a tie this week, top scorers in the in the comments with nine points. We have Matthew Armitage and Chris Welsh. Congratulations to you both. Very, very well done and very, very well deserved as well. And guys, get your predictions in for the following games that are going across the bottom of your screen. And when you leave the video, please remember to leave a like. It does help the algorithm and it helps uh, my uh, channel to be uh, viewed by more people as well. So we will go on to match week number three now. And I have to say, there's some very, very tricky games to predict. Some very tricky games to predict. Uh, there are no Monday games. Um, but there is a Friday game uh, because there is another championship week coming up uh, and the games are up until Sunday. So we shall see for that one. But Watford Burnley last season, this was obviously a Premier League clash. Of course, they meet in the championship once again. Watford's, I mean, apart from... An absolute wonder strike from Ismaili Assar. Yes, David Button is miles off his line, but the audacity to have the, the, the audacity to go for that. And it was an absolutely wonderful strike from Ismaili Assar. I'm surprised Ismaili Assar is still at Watford. I, I've got to be honest, I am amazed he is still at Watford. I'm amazed Emmanuel Dennis is still at Watford as well. But you know what? Watford's They've still got these players, and they've still got the these players to um to play for them. Uh, Burnley managed to get a 1-1 draw with Luton Town. Uh, they did go behind, obviously, to Dan Potts' early goal. Uh, but Josh Brownhill, what a finish that was. Uh, so, obviously, we've had Sars' wonder goal uh, against West Brom, and we've had uh, another wonder goal from uh, Josh Brownhill. Lovely curling effort. Uh, Horvath, no chance in the Luton Town uh, goal. Um... This is a really tricky one to call because they are both obviously now in the championship as well. I just got a feeling Burnley are a little bit better away from home. I've just got a feeling that they are a little bit better away from home. Um, I'm going to give Burnley the win here. I'm going to go 2-1 two, two to the Clarets. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to the Clarets. Uh, the Saturday lunchtime game, we have Cardiff City against Birmingham City. Uh, Cardiff lo losing 2-1 to Reading. Um, look, managed to, beat what, managed to beat Norwich and then you go and lose to Reading. Look, uh, it's just, just the life of, of being a Cardiff fan, unfortunately. Um, you know, they got the early lead against Reading. Um, but after that, considered a stupid penalty... Um and probably Nelson was lucky not lucky to be on the pitch, if I'm being honest. Um Birmingham City. Um very good start, actually. Very good start. Um obviously no no against Luton Town the first week. And then last week they beat Huddersfield by two goals to one. So very, very good first sort of couple of games for Birmingham City. A lot of people, including myself, have predicted Birmingham City to go down this season but so far so good for the blues um as well uh they they have lost to north city in the in the cup but you know what i don't think they'll care one jot about that and uh, if i'm being honest i think as well birmingham city will be looking at that cardiff game and think of can get something out of it call between these two but i am going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw i think it'll be ending in a 1-1 one, one draw i just think birmingham are playing very very well cardiff have you know started well uh, but that loss against um redding was uh, disappointing 
disappointing as well. But it was a wonder goal by Thomas Ince uh, as well. Uh, Blackpool against Swansea City. Both of these sides on the back of very bad defeats at the weekend. Blackpool losing 2-0 to Stoke. Swansea beating 3-0 at home by Blackburn Rovers. Blackpool, look, it was... I mean, they did beat Red in the first game, but that game against Stoke weren't, weren't in it at all. Weren't in it at all. Um, I also look at this Blackpool side, and there's not much goals. Not much goals on that side. Um, not. I mean, Gary Medine is a good striker, but can he get the goals? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Defensively, I don't think they're the best either. Swansea have started very poorly. Very poorly indeed. Um, look, they did draw one one with Rotherham, but a 3 0 defeat against Blackburn, uh, uh, to be honest, defensively shocking from Swansea. So they'll want to bounce back. They'll definitely want to bounce back uh, for sure. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2 0 win to Swansea. I think Swansea should be able to bounce back. Uh, in this game, uh, they should be able to bounce back because uh, Blackpool, I'm just not sure about their chances this season, if I'm being honest. But Swansea definitely, definitely need to improve, that is for sure. And now we have Huddersfield against Stoke. Huddersfield have started really poorly. Uh, Stoke 2 0 win over Blackpool and uh, Jacob Brown. Uh, scoring at the weekend as well. So the Stoke top scorer is now off the mark, which is very, very good to see. And it was a very, very good one for Stoke City. It was a very, very good one. Huddersfield, another defeat. Um, Danny Ward did get the uh, goal for Huddersfield to get them off the mark eventually, but it's not been a good start. It has not been a very good start for uh, Huddersfield and you know obviously Danny Schofield as well so it's not been a very good start for him uh, as manager um, Michael O'Neill the pressure is still on him um, as well um, Stoke very inconsistent very very inconsistent not the best away as we saw last time out against Millwall they did lose 2-0 uh, I'm actually going to go for Huddersfield to get their first win of the season I don't think it's going to be a comfortable win I think it will be a very very nervy game but I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory to Huddersfield. I think they will get the victory here and uh, get off the mark. <clears throat> uh, Hull City against North City. Um, Hull have started very, very well um, with four points out of their first two games. Norwich, one point from their first two games. Very, very disappointing. Very, very unlike North City. Isn't it? Um, Hull have been very, very good. 0-0 with Preston. Uh, has to be said, I thought Preston were the better team in that game. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't for um, Matt Ingram in the uh, Hull goal, I think Preston probably win that game. But fair play to uh, to Hull City for, you know, getting that 0-0 that draw as well. Back in front of the KCOM. It's a very, very interesting uh, place to go to. Norwich. They did everything but win against Wigan. Um, you know, they did go behind through James McLean earlier on, but uh, Max Ahrens did get the equaliser. So good to see him on the score sheet, actually. Good to see him on the score sheet. But Norwich away from home last season, very poor. Norwich away this season so far, not great. Um, I'm going to go for Norwich's season to get make a bit of a turn for the worse. I'm going for a 2-1 victory. To the home side, I think the Tigers will get the win and uh, put more pressure on to Dean Smith. Luton Town against Preston North End. Um, Luton, 1-1 with uh, Burnley. Very good result. Preston, 0-0 with Hull City. Um, it has to be said, Hull, uh, um, Preston are really lacking a goal scorer. I thought they would kick on it. Look, Obviously, Chad Evans did get sent off in the first game of the season at Wigan. But Troy Parrott is there. Ben Woodburn is there. No goals so far for uh, for Preston. And Luton Town are amazing at home. Very, very difficult to beat at home um, uh, as well. Um, and they did manage to get a 1-1 draw with, um, with Burnley, of course. So a good start to the season for, for Luton Town. Two draws 
And I just feel that they will have the better of Preston here. I, I just think the way that Preston are playing at the moment, just lacking that goal striker. If they get somebody in before the end of the window, then yeah, fantastic. But so far, they haven't really been at the races so far. So for me, I am going to go for a 1-0 victory to Luton Town. I think Luton Town will beat Preston North End. Millwall against Coventry City. Uh, Millwall, 2-0 defeat to Sheffield United. Gary Rowett was not a happy bunny with that first goal for um, Sheffield United because Ryan Brewster did foul uh, the Millwall uh, centre-back. And if I'm being honest, it was a foul. It was a foul. Let's let's be honest. It was a foul uh, because he does push him. He does push him, but nothing can be said about the second because Charlie Cresswell, the hero against Stoke, turned into villain, unfortunately, with a really silly back pass uh, that was... Uh, taken by John Fleck and Xander Berger scored for Sheffield United. So very, very uh, well done to him. What is going on at Coventry City? Oh, dearie me. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I mean, surely they would have known that obviously rugby events have happened there. The Commonwealth Games have happened there. I think there's been concerts there as well. It's not good. It's not good for Coventry. And I think the EFL will probably have to act, um, in all honesty. But it's like it's not their it's not their fault. And you know what? Ground sharing with wasps. No. Big, big no no. Big, big no no for me. So but no decent at home. They are decent at home. Coventry will be the fresher of the two teams. They will be the fresher of the two teams. I'm going to go for a wee surprise here. I know Millwall are pretty good at home, but I'm actually going to go for Coventry to win 2-1. I think Coventry will go away at Millwall, and uh, I think they'll win 2-1. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Coventry. And now Rotherham against Reading. Rotherham didn't uh, obviously have a game at the weekend because they were meant to be playing Coventry. Uh, but Reading, 2-1 win over Cardiff City. Very, very good performance from Reading. And as I said, Thomas Ince scoring the winner for Paul Ince's side. Yeah, son scoring for uh, his dad. Very, very well done to them. But do you know what? I've got a feeling Rotherham are going to win this. Redden are absolutely dire away from home. Absolutely dire away from home. So I'm going to go for 2-0 Rotherham. I am just going to go for 2-0 Rotherham. I, I actually think Rotherham are going to get their first points of the season. I, I actually think that um, I think this is going to be a bit of a shock, but I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to uh, Rotherham. But we will see. We will see. Sunderland against QPR. Both of these sides were involved in absolute classics uh, the weekend. Both of them coming away with 3-2 victories. Bristol City uh, losing 3-2 to Sunderland. QPR winning 3-2 against Middlesbrough. Michael Beale has to be given credit for what he has done to that QPR side. Yes, didn't look great against Blackburn, but they looked very, very good at the weekend. And Lyndon Dykes, after 13 league matches without a goal, he scored the winning goal against Middlesbrough. So very, very good to see uh, Lyndon Dykes on the score sheet as well. But Sunderland, um, striker-wise, they look very, very good. Ellis Sims, um, obviously on loan from Everton. And the Loch Ness Drogba in Ross Stewart scoring the winning goal for Sunderland. And what I liked about the Sunderland performance, I think you have to look at Alex Pritchard. He was actually in his natural position of a number 10, and I think he's probably better suited to be a number 10, if I'm being honest. So, hard one to call this one, as I said, because we look at Sunderland, we look at QPR, both of them have started pretty, pretty well. Um... It's a hard, it's a really, really hard one. I'm going to go for 2 on Sunderland because I just think that Sunderland at home are better. I think Sunderland at home are better and I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory against QPR. Wigan Athletic against Bristol City. Bristol City, that's two defeats in a row now to Hull City and Sunderland respectively. Wigan, uh, two draws, um, 0-0 against Preston, and then a 1-1 draw with Wigan. Uh, with, with Wigan, Norwich City, sorry. 
Norwich City. Uh, James McLean scoring the opening goal uh, against uh, Norwich. And then obviously, we all know who equalised for Norwich. Bristol City, Vyman. Vyman's still getting the goals, which is the main thing, but they're still they're still, you know, losing, unfortunately. Wigan, I'm not sure about Wigan, to be honest. I think Norris should have won that game. But Wigan, for me, I think, look, I think Wigan will survive. I think they will definitely survive. Um, but I look at this Bristol City side and they should be winning this game. They should be winning this game. They'll, they'll, they'll go to the DW Stadium or... You know, whatever it, whatever it's called these days. Um, I'm going to go for them to carve out a one 0 victory against Wigan Athletic. I think Bristol City will win by a goal to nil. So there we go. And the evening game, Middlesbrough against Sheffield United, or is it a Sunday game? I think it might be Sunday. No, I actually think it might be the evening. Actually, let me just let. It is, it is the evening. It is the evening kickoff. Middlesbrough against Sheffield United. Um. Chris Wilder up against his former club. Going to be very, very interesting game this one. Middlesbrough did lose 3-2 to QPR. Uh, Matt Crooks did get the uh, goal for um, Middlesbrough. And obviously they did pull another one back in the end. But uh, Zach Stefan. Um, yeah, not a good performance from him. Not a good performance from him. And obviously uh, Lenahan got sent off as well. So he'll be banned for this game. Sheffield United, 2-0 win over Millwall. Very, very good performance from them. Oh, this is a hard one. Hard one, hard one to call. But I do actually have Sheffield United to win the league this season. And I'm actually going to go for a 2-1 win to Sheffield United. I think that Sheffield United will win that one, um, in all honesty. Because I think the way that they've been playing recently... Like I know they lost to Watford. They weren't great against Watford, but against Millwall, I thought they were very, very good. So yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Sheffield United. And finally, on Sunday, we have Blackburn Rovers against West Brom. Uh, Blackburn, very good back-to-back -back victories for Jon Dal Thomason. Very good start to his managerial reign at Blackburn. And I have to say, Blackburn look very, very good. They do look very, very good. Uh, West Brom, yeah, they did get a 1-1 draw with Watford, but they were the better side. How they didn't win that game, I'll, I'll never know. But to be fair to Steve Bruce, he has brought in some very, very good players and obviously Carlon Grant getting that equalising goal, which was very, very good. But Blackburn are on the charge at the moment. They are on a massive, massive charge at this moment in time. Um, very hard one to call, but I'm actually going to go for Blackburn to win this one. I'm going to go for Blackburn 2, West Brom 0. I'm going to go for them to win by two goals to nil in this one. So, there we have it. There are the uh, match week three predictions done and dusted. I will go for my predictions very, very quickly. And then it is over to you guys to put your predictions in the comment section down below. So, I'm going to go Watford 1, Burnley 2. Cardiff City 1, Birmingham City 1. Blackpool 0, Swansea 2. Huddersfield 1, Stoke City 0. Hull City 2, North City 1. Luton Town 1, Preston North End 0. Millwall 1, Coventry City 2. Rotherham 2, Reading 0. Sunderland 2, QPR 1. Wigan Athletic 0, Bristol City 1. Middlesbrough 1, Sheffield United 2. And Blackburn Rovers 2, West Brom 0. Thank you for watching. Please leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And if you are like Matthew Armitage and Chris Welsh, you will get a shout out in the next video. So I wish you the best of luck for the week. And yeah, guys, please get involved at home. It has been very, very good for you guys to get involved in the chat. And yeah, we shall see what happens with these games. But until then, it's goodbye from me. And I'll see you on Monday for match week number four. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>